Hello friends, this video is for all of those people who have applied the Canadian PR through the Express Entry system and about to get the PR or have just got the PR and they're about to move to Canada pretty soon. So one question comes to our mind about proof of funds. Do we need to show proof of funds at the time of landing? If yes, then how? So in this video, I'll answer this very important question because this question has been asked to me a lot of times. So if you're interested, stay tuned. Hello everybody, this is Shitan Shu from Dream Abroad. If you want to immigrate to Canada or Australia without paying hefty fee to the consultants, please visit my channel. I've got tons of videos on the immigration process of both of these countries and I regularly upload videos every week. So if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please subscribe it right now. And now I'm there on Instagram as well. So if you want to follow, my Instagram handle is dreamabroad.mylife. Okay, proof of funds. We know that the certain amount is required in our accounts. We need to furnish the proof of that so that we can, when we go to Canada, we don't have to ask for that money from anybody else. And we can spend that in uh, living over there for the first six months. If you're applying alone, in that case, you should have something around $12,000 with you. If you're applying with your spouse, in that case, you should have something like $15,000 with you. These are the exact figures which are mentioned over here. And most of us are aware of that. But if in case you're not aware of that, I'll provide the link for the proof of funds video in the description box. Please check it out. Okay, now this proof of funds needs to be in a bank letter and it is thoroughly checked by the investigating officer. And if you have the proof of funds, if everything is correct, then only they give you the confirmation of permanent residence. But what happens once you land in Canada? At the time of the landing at the airport, the immigration officer might also ask you for the proof of funds. They also want to make sure that when you land here in Canada, you have the certain amount of money. However, it is not very often that the proof of funds have been asked at the airport. At least me or none of my friends were asked about it but yes people are asked about the proof of funds at the time of immigration as well so it's important to have the proof of funds with you when you land there in Canada okay so you have four options in total and you can choose one of these options the first option is having all the amount with you in cash the second option is having some amount in cash and some amount in your bank in your home country the third option is some amount in cash and uh, some amount in the Canadian bank account. And the last option is uh, having a traveler's check and probably some amount in cash for the first few days in Canada. Okay, now let's talk about the first option, everything in cash. Now, if you are two people or you know three people, it would be a huge amount, right? So it's not recommended to have everything in cash, however you can do it. But if you do it, you need to make sure that all the money is safe with you. And lastly, you need to make sure that you have to declare it at the immigration at the time uh, you land there in the airport. Because if you have anything above 10,000 Canadian dollars, you have to declare it there at the airport. So to avoid all those hassles, we have these uh, other options. The second option is having some amount in cash and some amount in your bank account in your home country. So... You can have probably you know three four thousand dollars or maybe maybe more than that in cash with you and some amount in your home country so when you travel you should make sure that you have your latest bank statement ready with you so that in case the uh, immigration officer asks for it you can show that you do have access to all of that amount and once you open your bank account in Canada you'll convert those uh, you'll convert that money directly to your Canadian bank account Okay, now the third option, having some amount in cash and some in your Canadian bank account. So you do have this option as well. Again, having like three, four thousand dollars with you in cash and uh, having transferred some of the money or maybe most of the money in your Canadian bank account. Now, I made a video for this. Let me show it to you. The video where I've described how you can open a bank account before landing in Canada. I've told you which all major banks are there, 
apart from that which all documents are required and what is the exact process everything you can get to know in this video if you want to know about the complete process and the details of it I'll provide the link to this video in the description box you can definitely check it out and you can open the bank account before landing in Canada okay so now you have the last option which is your traveler's check which is also a very popular option and convenient for many people so what you can do is uh, have some amount maybe in cash with you and some in traveler's check so as soon as you land there you know the very next day or the same day you can uh, you know and cash that amount so that it will save you the hassle and the worries of carrying the huge amount with you in cash when you get that traveler's check and cash you can actually submit it in your canadian bank account which you should open in the very first few days after landing in canada so these are the four options you can definitely choose one of these options and you are good to go so thanks for watching this video I'll provide the link to the video where I have described about the bank account before landing in Canada. So if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please consider subscribing because I keep bringing useful videos like these every week.